What's going on guys, Matty Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I clad the aquaponic system with recycled timber. Let's get stuck into the video. Now, when it comes to cladding your aquaponic system in timber, there's a number of different options that you could go with. You could use brand new timber from your local hardware store, or like me, I've decided to use pallets like this one behind me here. An important note is that when you're using pallets in the garden or the aquaponic system, you wanna make sure they have not been chemically treated. In accordance with Australian standards and Australian law, any pallets which have been chemically treated will be marked with a stamp on the pallet. That marking will have two letters in it, MB, standing for methyl bromide, which is a highly toxic and poisonous chemical treatment. You definitely don't want that anywhere near your garden or in your aquaponic system. Not only is it going to contaminate the plants, but it'll have a high chance of eventually poisoning and killing your fish. So make sure you check your pallets for any stamp indicating the possibility of chemical treatment. By using a pinch bar and a hammer, I disassembled the pallets in order to upcycle the recycled timber. In this project, I had my 13-year-old son helping me cut some of the timber. Once I had it measured and cut, I started with the fish tank and pre-drilled pilot holes into the cage of the IBC. I then secured battens into place using timber screws and then fixed the planks into position, screwing them into the battens. Once I had completed cladding the fish tank, it was time to move on to the lid. Again, I took another pallet and partially disassembled it and keeping the top section intact. I then cut this section into two separate pieces and attached one part to the top of the fish tank. I then took the other section and secured it to the top of the fish tank by using hinges and screwing them into place. Allowing this section of the lid to be opened and closed. Once we'd finished the fish tank lid, it was time to install the plumbing by cutting a hole for the water inlet on top of the tank.
it was then time to move on to cladding the grow beds themselves. By using the same method, I cut a bunch of battens pre-drilled pilot holes into the frame of the IBC beds and secured the battens into place with timber screws. I then went along and secured the planks in place by screwing them into the battens. Once I'd finished cladding the aquaponic system, the fish tank and the grow beds, I wanted to pretty up the radial flow settler. So I gave it a scrub back with some sandpaper and gave it a nice coat with some black spray paint. Now guys, why did I decide to clad the aquaponic system in timber? Well firstly, you need to keep the sun out. That ensures that no algae is growing in your system and stealing the nutrients from the plants. But the second reason is because I like my aquaponic systems to actually look aesthetically pleasing. It's a garden, it should look beautiful. Now no offence to those of you who just like to slap them together like it was something out of the apocalypse, but if I'm going to spend a lot of time out here, I want it to be therapeutic. Not only is the sound of the water therapeutic, but I want it to be visually pleasing as well. Each to their own. If you want your aquaponic system to look like it's the end of the world, go for it. I hope you enjoyed the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to see the entire build of this aquaponic system, I'll leave a playlist in the description below. In next week's video, I'll be showing you how to cycle your system and get it ready for fish and plants. Cheers guys, catch you in the next one.